like this don't. The road is blocked by order of the city watch. Locked? What am I supposed to do now? Think for being quiet? No, That's no, Corvo Ortana! No. We have sadistic crowd killers! What are you waiting <laughs> for? Work of shops selling contraband, just like they've got down in Sarconis. People are getting rich in Colero and Karnaka, even after paying the Grand Guard to look the other way. So we set up some black market shops, pass along whatever we score, and we run security for the shopkeepers. Right, and we take a cut on the sales. I'm telling you, the wind is blowing in our favor for once. Some kind of shitstorm happening here in Dunwall. The old man's been carried off to who knows where, and I'm out of m Hey! Over here! Lord Protector, forgive me for saying it, but you look like death warmed over. It's been an unusual day. There's a coup underway, and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south. And I came to warn you. I know, Anton. The Duke's here with a woman named Delilah who seized the throne. They have Emily and I barely got out. For now, I have to get away, recover my footing. Bad things always seem to happen in Dunwall. Feels like the end of the world. I need to get to Karnaka, where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. The dreadful whale will get you there. Should we go? Let's go.
something's not right, but it seems familiar somehow. I remember this endless cold. Where are you? You might as well show yourself. Corvo, old friend. Do I even have to say it? You've lost another Empress. Delilah was born a pawn, but now she's got the throne. Fifteen years ago, the assassin Dow could have warned you about her if you'd bothered to ask. But you were too busy for questions. Times have changed, Corvo. And you haven't been watching the dark corners of the world. Maybe living in a palace has made you soft. What happens when you push a man farther than he ever thought he could go? Does he snap? And what happens when he tries to go home? Maybe you'll finally learn what it feels like to kill an empress. Now could have told you about that, too. I felt this so long ago. The void. It was still there all along. Never thought I'd be here again. Feels as good as I remember. Now I'm going to save my daughter and win back her throne. of your voice. That's enough. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand. I will guide you when I can. Jasmine's sister, bearing the outsider's mark. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition art and magic, with a cunning that makes fun and sick offense of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Maybe I got lazy, fell asleep at my post. Somehow everything I love is at risk, again. Last time I saw Karnaka, I was just 18, boarding a ship bound for Dunwall. It was dawn and I'd been up all night dancing, three sheets to the wind. I was puffed up with the old Duke's favor. And I thought I was the greatest swordsman the Isles had ever known. For over three decades, I've lived in a palace, watching over the people I love. 
I've had an empress die in my arms and raised another from birth. Who would have thought I'd come back home, the most wanted man in the aisles, following the trail of a monstrous killer? What would that 18-year-old think of me now?